Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lewis again. Today, I'm gonna teach you. Uh, I'm gonna try to teach you how to use the spackle knives, the compound knives, to put compound on the wall in holes. How to get it done. Uh, how to fix holes right then and there. Fix them and paint them. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use the knife. I'm gonna show you the way I use the knife. Let me correct that. I'm gonna show you the way. It took me a long time to learn how to use the knife, but. Um, so my, actually my dad told, told me this. He, uh, he showed me this trick and after then, I've been pretty good ever since. And I think if anybody else knew this trick, I guess people expect you to know things, but you don't. That's why I know a lot of people say, oh, I already know that, oh, this guy, he's telling people we don't, what? We already know, but no, you're wrong because there is a lot of people that don't know certain things. I'm still learning tricks to this day and I've been in the field for years. And I run circles around a lot of people. I'm, really, I'm pretty fast at what I do. Um, I, this is all I know, so, uh, and I'm still learning. But um, with that, we're gonna get started. First, I'm gonna show you how I use the spackle knife for me. And I'm gonna show you a few spackle knives and what I do to them and why I do it to them. All right, this spackle knife here, if you look close, this spackle knife here, they're all the same. If you see, they're all the same. Okay, people say that, uh, Oh, my spackle knife has a crack, this, that, and the third, or it has a chip on it, or this or that. Okay, if you see this, when you buy a spackle knife, this is what it looked like. This one's a little dirty because I had it a while. But if you notice, the, the, the corners, they're real square. That, I, I don't really like using that too much. So what I did is, I took my knives always, and I tried to shave them on the sides. On the sides, this one is not that much shaved. You're not gonna be able to really see it from there, but let me put this on the background so you can see. But the third one I have is the same one, same size, and it has the curve if you see it. It has the round edge on both sides, so that way when I am putting spackle, I don't get that line that you always get inside the compound. Now this one, I bend it this way. If you notice, it has a bend on it. If you see it has a bend on it, it don't sit, you see it? There, it has a bend, each side. Now, the reason I do that is I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna put compound and show you why. When I put compound on, say, uh, okay, I have a bunch of nails there, or I got tape there. I use my knife this way, see it? When I'm gonna put the first hand. Okay, now, if you see, right? Now, since it's on that angle, you see this edge here? I'm gonna take this angle here and I'm gonna feather it out to get that big thickness off there. And I'm gonna bend the blade. And if you can see what it does, boom. You see how it cleans up the edges? Now there's a spot missing there. I comes there, I got a little bit on there and I do it again. And you notice how I bend the blade like that. Now, now I come to the other side and I do the same thing. Look at my blade. I bend it and clean off all my edges. I'm feathering it out. Now, Now it's the middle that has a lump. So I put this side and I try to tap it down. This is little by little how you learn, see? Now I got that, I got the big lump, but now I'm gonna use it again this way and I'm gonna press it real tight like this and clean it off. Look how good that looks. You barely even have to sand that. All you have to do is do exactly what I do with my blade. Buy your blade. Keep your blade. My blade, when I get spag, when I'm done using it, I don't clean it off. I leave it dirty. I come back and I sand it before I use it because it makes my blade weaker. It makes it softer, it makes the metal softer. But if you see, it didn't take me too long to do that. And all the edges are clean. You barely even have to sand this. Now, I'm gonna make some holes inside the drywall 
and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Fast and paint it right there and there. But for this example here, I use a, a bucket. It's not a quick dry stuff. So is it different? This is what I use for here, the bucket of the blue bag, quick set. This is lightweight. Now I'm gonna use the same thing. Is the bag, it's lightweight, it's five minutes. The way I mix this when I'm doing this is with a little bit of this one, a little bit of the bucket. I'm gonna mix it here, a little bit of the bucket. And a little bit of the bag, five minute bag. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make first, well, let me mix it first. Let me, first of all, let's mix it. Now, remember, this is what I'm mixing here. It's for the holes. So, I'm not adding no water. All I did was put the powder on the bucket compound, right? Now, I'm gonna make some holes over here. That's a hole, another hole. Um, so you can see the hole. Okay. Now, with this that I mixed right here, this dries up in a matter of seconds. So the holes that I just put in there, I'm gonna fill them in with this before it dries and then I can't use it. Now I'm gonna use this big hand just to get, to feather it out. Remember, this here is the bag. Now, this is the bag right here. So this dries real fast. It don't take long. And if you're actually in a rush, you can actually paint that. And when it dries, it dries anyway. You don't need no sanding. Oh, I need sanding? Oh, it's, oh, it's a little wet, I can't sand it. Okay, no problem. I will give me a light sanding block. That was a light sanding block. The paint I'm gonna use is already got primer in it. But this is brand new drywall. So you do need you do need primer, but for teaching purposes of the compound of the five minute bag of spackle, I'm doing it. So this is it. I spackled it right now and I'm painting it right now. It ain't gonna give you no different uh, finish than if I would've let it dry 1,000 degrees uh, exact. But like I said, I, do, I try to get things done quick when you're working in, uh, in quick places where you ain't got time, you're working in people's houses, you need to get it done quick because you only have a few hours. This is what you do. That's how you fix the hole real fast. Spackle it, compound, and paint it like that. I showed you how to use the compound knife. That's the way I use it. A lot of people use it different ways, but I always bend mine. If you notice it's bent, I don't say I don't clean it off because I like to sand it down before I use it. Cause it makes my, my spackle knife, my compound blade, a little softer. It bends, it's more flexible. But like I said, uh, the skills come from how you use the blade. It doesn't come from the guy doing it. Guy could be good at a bunch of things, but if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to work it, you ain't gonna work it. With that, have a good day. I hope you learned something. I hope I taught you something. This is Lewis at One Day Fix It. If any questions, email me at onedayfixit45 at gmail.com. 
Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and with that, have a good day.